By watching this video, you will have all the information you need about Python multithreading. You will fully understand the concept of multithreading with the eight examples we will do in the video. We will also use the Python custom Kinter library to download images from the internet using multithreading. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. First, let's focus on the question of what is multithreading? While a program is running, the CPU executes its instructions sequentially. Most of the time this is not enough in terms of speed. For example, imagine you downloaded 100 images to your computer. If you try to download them all in order, the download will be completed in 100 units. If your internet speed is sufficient and you download 100 images at the same time, you will complete the download in one unit second. Multithreading gives us the opportunity to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. So, thanks to multithreading, we can run our programs faster. Now let's understand the concept of multithreading better by making an example. In the first example, there is a function. The function makes the program wait for 3 seconds with the sleep command. We will see how many seconds the program takes by using the start and finish variables. When the program is finished, we will print how many seconds it took to the screen with the print command. The program completed in 3 seconds as expected. If I call this function 2 times, I expect the program to finish in 6 seconds. Because Python runs the code sequentially, the program was completed in 6 seconds. So is there a way to run these functions simultaneously rather than sequentially? We can do this using the multithreading feature. Let's do an example. I will call the function twice again. I call functions using threading structure. I can start the calling process with the start function. Now the functions will run in parallel rather than sequentially. I expect the program, which should normally finish in 6 seconds, to be completed in 3 seconds. But it was completed in 0 seconds. Because while two parallel jobs were running, it didn't stop the rest of the code. Therefore, it seems to be completed in 0 seconds. Actually it wasn't completed in 0 seconds. By using the join function, we can stop the rest of the program while the threads are running. Now let's try again. The program, which should normally finish in 6 seconds, was completed in 3 seconds because the functions were called simultaneously. In fact, the functions are called almost simultaneously, not exactly. This place is important. Let's do a different example. We can use the arg property when we want to send parameters to called functions. It does the same thing as the previous example. The program was completed in 3 seconds. We can also do the previous examples with the concurrent feature. I will do the same example using the thread pool executor feature. Using the submit function, you can call the function you want and send the parameters you want. It has the same functionality as the previous example. Don't get confused here. The program was completed in 5 seconds. Now we will download images from the internet using the request library. I added the images to the turtle code GitHub account. I want to show you the images one by one. You can also make an example using the images here. We will download these images to the Python project file. I created a list where I added all the image links. You can download images using this for loop. I'm not using the multithreading feature in this example. So all images will be downloaded sequentially. Let's see how many seconds it takes for the download to be completed. The download was completed in approximately 5 seconds. That's a long time. In a moment, we will download all the images in parallel using the multithreading feature. I delete the downloaded images. Now let's look at example 6. 
I designed the previous example as a GUI application. We will create a window using the custom Kinter library. There is a button and a label object in the window. When the button is clicked, the downloading process starts sequentially. As in the previous example, parallel downloading is not done. When the download process is completed, the number of seconds it took is shown in the label object. To learn the details of the custom Kinter library, you can follow the custom Kinter playlist on the channel. When I click the button, the downloading process starts sequentially. The download was completed in 3.5 seconds. This is a very long time. I delete the downloaded images. If we do the downloading process in parallel rather than sequentially, the process will be completed in a shorter time. In a moment, we will download in parallel using the multithreading feature. In this example, I perform the download in parallel using the thread pool executor feature. Let's see how many seconds the parallel download process will take to complete. It was completed in almost one second. We will do the same example in the GUI application shortly. I am deleting the images. As in the previous GUI application, there is a button and one label object. When the button is clicked, the download process starts in parallel. Let's test the project. When I click the button, the download started. The download was completed in almost one second. In summary, we can perform parallel operations and increase the speed of applications by using the multithreading feature. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.